Hi, my name is Laz, and I'm the art manager at DISTI. Today, I'd like to give you a quick tour of our new software tool, Replicate. Replicate converts 3D Studio Max models into interactive 3D training content in less time it takes to make a video. Let's get started. Now that I have Max open, loaded my file, I'd like to show you some of the properties that translate into Replicate. Here I have my scene. I'm going to turn off the wireframe. It has animation on it. My hierarchy as well. Here it is displayed. Here's my turbocharger. And my material editor. As you can see, I'm using four channels and a standard blend material. Now what I want to do is take all this information and turn it into a lesson. So let's get started. I'm going to export my file. I'm going to use the Disty Replicate Equipment Exporter. Name this test. I'm just going to replace the file that's there. All right. Here are results. Looks like everything worked great. I'm going to boot up Replicate. All right. What I want to do here is go File and Load My Equipment. Let's find the file we just exported. What this is going to do is load all of our geometry, our materials, our texture maps, and animation. So here's our scene, just like we saw in Max. What I do here, I'm going to zoom in by selecting an object and hitting the zoom in button. Let's see what we can produce right off the bat. So I'm going to deploy what I have by hitting this green play button. It's going to ask me to save my file. Always a good idea. Alright, here we are. I have one option here, exploration mode. Let's boot that up. Here's my scene. I can zoom in. I can pan. I can orbit. I can select my objects and move them around. I can put everything back together by hitting this button right here. I can zoom in on my turbocharger and isolate it. And here I can examine my geometry, unhide all. All right, well, let's add some more training value to this and create a lesson. First thing I want to do is head over to our Environments tab and change our background color. It's currently set to a nice blue gradient. Let's change that to black. I can also change my lighting rig. I'm going to choose Studio. There we go. Resize my tabs here. Now to bring in my animations, I need to add a behavior to the parts that I want to animate. So I'm going to use the filter box up here in my equipment tab and look for my turbocharger. There we go. I'm going to right click and add a new behavior. I'm going to use animated toggle. Here are the four nuts that contain the turbocharger. I'm going to select all of them, right click, and add a new behavior, animated toggle. Now that I have my behaviors in place, let's create a recording. So what I want to do is open up my resource tab. Let's move that over. And I'm going to right click on recordings and create a new recording. Let's give it a name. So what I want to do now is just run through these steps and record my actions. So I'm going to hit record and animate these four nuts off. 
and then the turbocharger. I'm going to hit stop. What I did is recorded all of my actions here. And just change my timing around. Now, if I did something wrong, I can always just make a new recording, or I can move things up in my recording time here. Now that I'm happy with my recording, let's create a new lesson. Get head over to my Resource tab, right-click on Lessons, and create a new playback lesson. Let's give it a name. And I'm going to select a recording, the one we just made, Remove Turbo. As you can see in our Attributes panel, it's using our Remove Turbo recording. I also have here other properties that I can change for my lesson. Now before I deploy my lesson one more time, I like to add a nice splash screen. So let's head over to Deploy, go to our Settings. In our second tab here, I have an option to load a Lesson Select screen. Let's do that now. Select the splash screen that's already been created. And then I'm going to add some coordinates here for my lesson box position. Okay, let's deploy and see what we've made. Alright, here's our new splash screen. Here are options, exploration mode that we went over already, and our remove turbo tutorial. Click that and hit start. So what I want to do here, get a little bit closer to my scene, and see if our animations are working. Let's hit play. I'm going to wait two seconds here. There goes our nut animation and then our turbocharger. Things are working pretty well. What I want to do next is add a couple of cameras for easy viewing. I can do that by going to our Resource tab and right-clicking on Navigational Presets. Right-click and add a new free nav preset. I'm going to call this Turbo Cam. Let's set up another one. Let's zoom out a little. Let's get it from the other side. and we'll make this our start cam. So I'm going to right click on navigational presets again new free nav preset and call this start cam. Now if I want to get up close again I can always right click on turbo cam and move to. Here we are. Perfect. Now we need to add our two cameras that we just created into our timeline. To do so I'm just going to hit the plus button here and then put in my attribute for my cameras now, if I hit Control Space, it auto completes for me. I confirm by hitting Enter. And my value is going to be my camera. Let's add our second camera. I'm just going to hit Plus. I'll go here and copy paste this attribute. And this value, I'm going to add my Turbo Cam. I'm going to add a tilde 4, which implies it's going to take 4 seconds for this camera to translate. I'm going to move it down in my timeline. And change my delta time. It's good. Let's add some markers that's going to help with our DVD style chapter selection. In this text field here, I'm going to write the instructions that I'd like to see. And press this button right here. There's our first marker. And then right above the animation of the turbocharger, I'm going to add another marker. insert it there. 
One more thing I can do to add further training value to our tutorial is add a couple of highlights. So let's select the first nut. I'm going to hit the highlight button right here. Start typing out its name. Hit control space for autocomplete. And then I'm going to go through my options here. So I want this highlight to flash. It's going to cycle four times in quarter of a second and its final state will be off. Now I'm going to add a highlight for each one of our nuts here. Just going to change the name on it. Alright, let me just modify the timing here. Now that my recording's all set for my playback lesson, let's create another lesson, an interactive lesson. You can do so by heading over to the Resource tab, right-clicking on Lessons, and create new interactive lesson. I'm going to give it a name. And from the drop-down list, I'm going to choose our recording. This pop-up window helps us to modify any settings before we create our interactive lesson from our recording. I'm going to use the filter box here and type in highlights and turn those off for this example. I hit OK and confirm. Here's our interactive lesson right here. So let's see what we've created. I'm going to go back up here to deploy and it's going to build our lessons for us. See now that we have three options here. Let's start with our Remove Turbo Tutorial. Here we are in Start Cam. I'm going to hit Play. See our first marker come up. And then we're going to transition into our Turbo Cam view. Comes our highlights and our animations and then our second marker. There you have it. Now with these buttons down here, I can go back and forth just like I'm using a DVD player. So I'm going to play it again. Maybe skip forward to my next marker or back a marker. I can also speed up time here. Get through it a little faster. That's our, our playback lesson. Let's go back and check out our interactive lesson. So what I want to do here now is follow the steps listed. So I'm going to zoom in and remove the four nuts that contains the turbocharger in place. There's our first step complete. And now I'm going to remove the turbocharger. Lesson complete. Good job. There you have it. If you want to learn more about Replicate, visit us at our website at www.disty.com.